Unit Six: Reaching for Space. Reading. My name is Katherine Johnson. My story began in 1918 when I was born into an African American family in West Virginia. Before I went to high school, my teachers noticed how good I was at math. Because of my talent and hard work, I was one of the few African American girls who could study in college. After college, I got a job at NASA to help with American space programs. My dream was to use my gift to make a difference to the world. However, it was not easy for me to achieve this dream, as most African Americans still did not have equal opportunities in life even after slavery ended, especially women. The work environment at NASA was not friendly to minority populations during the 1950s either. Most of the scientists there were white men, and women like me had to work in other offices. I didn't know whether I could adapt to or succeed in a man's world. Yet I was determined to go all out at work and quickly became an important figure in space missions. NASA scientists noticed my math skills and even called me a human computer. In 1962, John Glenn was the first American to fly around the Earth in space, and I was one of the key mathematicians who made it happen. Soon, I became part of the team that planned to put humans on the moon for the first time. The scientists then used computers to calculate the flight paths of spaceships, but they needed me to check the data again. Finally, our hard work paid off as the world watched American astronauts take the first steps on the moon. Despite my contributions, the public knew little about me. During my career, I didn't think anyone would remember me, but I was always proud of my achievements and never stopped growing. Just like what I once said. I don't have a feeling of inferiority. Never had. I'm as good as anybody, but no better. Thankfully, more attention is given to African American women today. As a result, my work was publicly recognized. In 2015, I received the Presidential Medal of Freedom for opening up the frontiers of space. I feel very honored to be an example of what African American women can achieve. Finally. I would like to encourage you all, regardless of race, gender, or age, to do your best in the field you love. Always remember that if you keep pushing the limits with your talents and efforts, you too can make a difference.